All right, so we're back with another exciting episode of Transport Fever. And I'm looking at this machine's factory and we're having a little bit of wood issues. No steel issues, a little bit of wood issues. So we're gonna start off by seeing what is going on. Uh, the steel is brought by train. We have no issues there. What's going on? Okay, so you're carrying wood. Uh, I assume you're bringing it from the forest, right? Okay, what's going on here? This is the logs to planks. Um, transport's 100%. We're backed up a little bit. Um, shipment 200, production 200. Okay, so we're meeting our needs there. Um, what's going on here? Okay, you're putting out, you're picking up, you're bringing over here. Okay, so it looks like this place needs more logs to get these numbers up. So what's going on? Didn't we set this up? This train should be bringing more logs over here, and then they should magically appear here if I'm not mistaken. Right? But you have nothing. What's going on? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? You have nothing. Um, what's happening? Production 400, shipment zero. Yeah, you're not shipping anything out. Why not? Okay. Did we tell you, did we manage the line right? Let's check that first. Um, manage line. Okay, at Saurita, you're supposed to load logs, yep. And then Yuma Central, you unload logs, okay. Um, what's the, uh, what's the problem? Why are you not bringing it over here? Oh, we're not in range of the drop. Dang it. I thought it was going to be. Okay. We need... I really don't want to have to build another station right here. That kind of defeats the purpose. What if... Let's pause. I don't like wasting money and opportunity. Um, if we put a building over here and then connect the roadway, that might fix it. So let's go to... Um, Configure. Okay. Uh, cargo buildings. I'm not sure what the difference is. We'll, we'll do a large main building. And it's got this nifty little icon right there. Okay. So if we put this building. Let's do. That, that looks pretty good. Right there. Okay. Now that should give us some street access. Okay, uh, country road. So if I come down here, okay, it does connect. All right, and then if I just put this here, okay. Okay, now we are connected. Yes. Okay, that solved our problems. It looks ugly, but it solved our problems. You know what, just to make it look a little bit less ugly, let's let's just do a little something like that. <laughs> it's a little special. Okay, so now, this forest should actually be putting out now, right? Yes, there it is, stacking away. Okay, he's gonna pick up a little bit. Okay, this is good, this is progress. Okay, this place should now, yes, shipment 400. So it is going to start pumping out at full speed. So we just have to let it do its thing. And then what we're going to have to look at is this line, which it's transporting the logs to the planks. Right now it's perfect with a, you know, with a supply of 400, but it's not going to be perfect 
once these trains actually start bringing logs. So we're gonna have to keep our eye on this. I would imagine if this is perfect, then we're probably gonna have to double the trucks. And by using my eyeball, it looks like there's three. Three on there. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five. Where are they hiding? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I guess it makes sense. And then this guy is gonna put out way more planks and then that'll fix this little backup issue we have there so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tinker with that yet where is our first train did you just drop off it may have just dropped off we'll keep our eye out okay so the he should be at maximum capacity when he gets back to this station or maybe not maximum capacity for his train but he's gonna pick up as much as this place is able to put out Seeing as how he just picked up. What what did he get? He got 85. Okay, so if this guy gets, you know, around about 85, 90, we're going to have to cut the trains down considerably to be more efficient. Truth be told, I probably didn't need two trains on this line, but you know what? Why not? Okay, so what are you going to pick up? You are picking up... Yeah, 80. Okay, let's see if we can set these trains to um, something around 80 or 90. Let's go diesel, let's go U. Um, what are we carrying? We're carrying logs. Okay. So it's 80 or it's 100. Let, let's go with 100. Because I don't want to, I don't want to short it. I don't want to leave material on the dock, so with that, cutting the trains down, the train should hopefully be faster, and then maybe they'll pick up uh, a little less, and if we start seeing numbers under 80, then we'll grab the 80. But what are you going to pick up right now? You're going to pick up 80 on the dot. Yeah, so I, th I think 100 is the right choice. Okay, so now we're probably gonna see a backup here. Yeah. Let's click U. Let's just go ahead and double this line. And where are they gonna come out of? They're probably gonna come from right here. Yep, there they go. Looking good, and what are you doing here all by yourself? You're moving goods. But I don't see any goods for you to move. Oh, here they come. How is this train doing, by the way? 54 out of 54. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at the goods and make sure he's not backing up. He's backing up. Holy crap. Oh my god. 339. This guy is kind of falling behind too, but he's making do. Okay, we need a bigger train. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it. Our 310 to Yuma is about to get an update. Let's give you the latest, greatest diesel. Oh, and he's gonna be able to move a lot faster with the new box cars. Okay. Um, he's at what, 54? Should we do a hundred? Or should we go big? And really clean that up. No, you know what? 140. I feel like 140 should be fine let's take a peek it's a clean looking train clean looking cars i think this might be the first train we put these on which boost our speed up to 75 actually i think no oh no the speed limit for these guys is actually 99 but the diesel is only going to go 75. okay pick it up can we make a dent we'll see okay yes we have made a dent in the overcrowdedness Okay, well, we'll have to keep our eye on that and make sure that it doesn't get backed up anymore. What's wrong with you? You're having slight production issues, nothing major, but still, it looks like coal is a bit of a weak link. So, okay, yeah, we've got coal stacked up here. Let's, where is the nearest coal train? Is it you? Okay, you carry 54. Let's pause you. There's two of you. Let's do a little bit of upgrading while we're here. 
So they don't need to care. I carry too much more than that. And he's on Old Faithful, our favorite older diesel train, which is now extinct. Do we need to get this top of the line one? I don't think so. I feel like this might work. Although, what? how fast is he going right now? He, he's going 47. Oh, maybe it's because he's just slowed down. Okay, you know what? We're, we're going to use these guys. Not too fond about it. But I feel like we're going to lose money because we're not going to carry that much cargo. Although, hang on, if we use this guy and up the cars, just get rid make it one train. You know what? We're going to do a thing right now. We're, we're, we're going to play. Click you. Manage you. We're going to sell you. Okay. And this guy, so they've been holding 54. So as long as I make a train that can hold more than, what, 54 times two, 108. So let's go with like 110, 120. Then we should be fine. And this guy should be able to get up to speed pretty good. So what are we moving? We're moving coal. So that's going to be this gondola. Uh, there's a hundred. Okay, so 120 should be fine. Let's replace him. Okay, so he's carrying 54 of 120. Seems legit. Okay, so that means that this coal plant should be telling us that there were transport issues, although it says there's not. Even though there's clearly an issue here, we're losing product. All right, where are you? Okay, how fast are you going? These are the old trains. So at this corner, he's going 65 right here. You're already doing 70 right there. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so he's gonna pick up and in just one trip, he's gonna carry more than twice as much as both of those last trains combined. So he should clean that up. And we might actually, just for the sake of it, do the same thing with the iron. Because how much do you carry? You're carrying 82. You've got a higher capacity, but you've never even touched one of these cars. So 82. We'll see how much this guy carries. It's probably, they seem to be spaced pretty good, so it's probably gonna be around about the same 82. So if we make one train that does, let's see, they seem to be going by 20, so 160 or 180 to be safe, I think we'll be fine. And these guys look to have a top speed of 65. Oh wait, no, he just got to 66. Auto save, come on, man. You're, you're hindering progress. All right. Let's see, I'm curious. How fast does he get before pulling in the station? 70? Okay, he went to 70 and he just slowed down to 61. So he touched 70 for a little while. Okay, so he's carrying 82. What are you picking up? And you've got 77. Okay. So I think, yeah, one train. Let's sell the empty one. Come on, buddy, get where I can click you. I'm not moving the camera. Okay, you are sold. You are gonna get an upgrade. Congratulations. Okay, so we'll get one of you. And what do we want? We wanted at least 160. I kinda wanna make it 180. Oh, look at him, he's, he's passing up. Our new train. He's gaining on. Oh, whoa, no, he pulled ahead at the last second. He took the turn a lot better. Okay. Ooh, decision time. 160 or 180? Oh, no, 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 no. It says good. Mm. I want to be safe. Let's go 180. And if this guy only picks up 160s or less, then we'll downgrade. Okay. 
So now both of these mines are running off of one train. We'll see if they can keep this guy up. We seem to have dropped a little bit more, but you know what, we're not done yet. Because we have more coal coming in from right here that we can probably perfect. Although it's not backing up, this actually looks fine. But we can still update the trains. Looks like he just barely gets to 75 right before. Oh, barely, almost 74. Okay, let's pause. Oh, good. All right, what's waiting for him? 120. What does he carry? He carries 108. Yeah, so he is leaving a little bit of meat on the bone. So, hmm. Nah, we'll leave it as is. Because that's, that's a longer distance, and it's a heavier train. If there's 120 there, that means I would have to make one train that carries like 240 to be able to keep up with what these guys are doing. But you know what? I can still up... Whoa, what did I click? Okay, I can still upgrade both of these guys to be a little faster and carry a little more. So right now... What do they carry? 108. We can beat that. We will make them both carry 120s. And that should be fine. You. And you. Okay. So that should be better. That should be getting a little bit more of the coal where it needs to go. And then is it also getting iron from another location? Yes, it is getting iron from right here. How is it doing? Well, it's topped out. It left a little bit. Hmm, I don't know if we should upgrade this guy though. I feel like he is gonna actually break the 75 mile an hour limit. Cause this train's capable of going, I think a hundred, it, it goes a hundred plus, I think 111. Although we do need to upgrade the cars because the cars have a speed limit of 75. Although it looks like fully loaded, he's not, I don't even think he's gonna be able to get to 75. It doesn't look like it. We'll keep our eye on him. Oh, we're stopping traffic. We're stopping the goods. Uh, not a fan of that, but you know what? It's got to happen. Yeah, this guy... We can definitely upgrade this train to the newer diesel because he doesn't even take advantage of his speed of being able to go above 75. He never even reached 75. Okay. Let's pause. Because I feel like if he's down here... Yep. His buddy... Oh, he already filled up. Although he didn't actually fill up. Okay. So we don't really need to make the vehicles any bigger. We can just make them a little faster. Okay, wait. 126. Okay, so... 140. Yeah. We'll give you guys some 140s right there. And we will see how they like that. Now this, I believe, is a way more powerful engine than the last one. So it should reach that 75 way quicker than that last train. That last train didn't touch 75 until it was, you know, damn near pulling into the station. This guy, I'm hoping to be at 75 before the mountains, which it looks like it's going to happen. Come on. A little bit more. Didn't have to slow down for the crossing. All right, 75. So we are already better off than that last train. Even though the last train had a speed limit of like 100 plus, it couldn't even reach 75. I'm happy with this. Okay. So now you should be happier. You should have no more issues. You should be able to get this back into the 400s. We will have to see. Okay, but what were we doing before we squirreled? We were looking at the goods over here. Okay, the Yuma train has really cleaned this up. I like that. We will keep him doing what he's doing. Is that you? That is you, 140. And eventually, he is going to wear this down. And we will have to downsize his train again. You know what? This is unacceptable. Pause. Uh, 
Okay, so this line's got five of you guys. Let's go ahead and bring you into the times with this nice new diesel. All right. And we're definitely, probably, gonna need to sell off one or two of these guys. Let's make sure that the line is configured how we like it, which is, wait for a full load, yep. And we'll just reiterate to you that you are here to pick up goods and you are here to drop off goods, that's it. Okay, now we should see this disappear relatively quickly and then we should have a line forming that we can clean up later. Okay, but all of this, this whole episode started with trees, with forests, with this machine factory. Still not, we're still having plank issues. Let's, oh, you know what? Did we, we did double this line and it does look like they are, they're keeping up. We have to keep our eye on it. We'll have to see what happens when, okay, the train just made a delivery. I think we're fine. Okay, so our problems. Okay, this place is putting out 400. Oh, we do have a stack here though, so we have definitely gotten rid of our tail. Do we need to put more trucks on the delivery of the planks? We'll have to keep our eyes open. Cause so far, I'd say it looks fine. Okay, we'll see. Maybe we just need a minute for it to take effect. Um, let's take a peek at our trains. Okay, so there is 70 waiting. What are you going to pick up? Capacity of 100. Oh, okay, 81. So that makes me happy that we went above 80. Because we are using that last car. Maybe not for a lot. But we're not, we're, we are leaving nothing on the table. No meat on the bone. Okay, these guys, okay. Okay, they just made a drop off. So that's why it looked a little backed up. I'm not sure, I feel like this is fine. But I wanna see what it looks like right at the moment of delivery from the next train. Does it run dry? Or is there still something there? I feel like it's gonna run dry. I feel like we're gonna get a line forming before this guy drops off. gonna be close it's gonna be close and if there is still product there and we get overfilled even for a minute we need another truck let's see okay he is unloading okay and he's gone the the station never got overcrowded I think that's fine I think it's fine I think we will throw one more truck on delivering the planks though. Here we go, planks to machines. Let's go ahead. Oh, and you look like you're the older diesels. So you know what, maybe, what, what are you? You're the Peterbilt 359, maybe we'll just upgrade them. Yeah, cause these carry 25 and these carry 30. Let's just do that. As soon as the autosave finishes. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, finished. All right. And should we also take a moment to upgrade these other trucks too? Because that might help empty the, uh, the platform before the train shows up too. You know what? You sold me. Bam. All right. Now I want this pile to be completely gone by the time the next train shows up and there should be no excuse. Actually, I'm curious, do these guys max out at the 50 miles an hour, which is the speed limit? They do with a, oh, well, not a full load. Where is the first guy to have 30? Is it you? No. How about you? Okay, you're the first guy to have 30. Are you going to reach 50? Because if you reach 50, then that means we could upgrade the road Yep, there he goes, 50. So now he's kind of limited by the speed limit. Because I believe these trucks go 60 or 62. Let me see. Um, Top speed of 62, so we, we can get a little more. 
if need be. If we were desperate, but we are not desperate. Oh, it just made a drop off. I think we're fine. Okay, so by now, all of this jaw slapping and wasting of time should have had the effect of getting more planks to the machine factory. Did it work? Well, we've got some. I feel like we're still gonna run out though. Are you the next delivery of planks? You you are. Are you gonna get there in time? <gasps> oh, you gotta turn around. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he just barely made it. Okay, so our production is gonna go up. What can we do? You know what? I think these guys are going slow there, right? Yeah, they're going 30 miles an hour on this road. I think we make this a country road and keep them going 50. It does outskirt the town. You know what? I'm sold. Um, country road 50 and actually, yeah, we'll keep it 50. Let's do, go to the upgrade tool. Yeah, because this is already a country road. It show. And why do they slow down here? That's weird. Okay, there. There. And then we are going to keep you guys moving. Okay. And... Should be fine there, right? Yeah, they don't slow down there. Okay. So now... I think we're going to be fine. Let's look right here. 36 planks currently there. Last time we barely made it to the wire before the next delivery was made. Okay, he just dropped off. And now he's gone. And look, the next tr truck is right there. Yeah, we're doing way better already. Not even close. Okay, our production numbers are gonna skyrocket back up to 400. We're gonna be fine. So now while we're here, we need to look at machine delivery. I think this is Yuma, right? Yep. Are you the Yuma churn? No? How about you? It's you. Machines to Yuma. He carries 25. You know what? Let's upgrade him to carry 30. Because why not? And what's waiting here for him? Oh, not 30, but still. He has more horsepower. Leave me alone. Uh, 386. Come on. I want to see those numbers. There's no reason why you can't touch 400. Although we only need three. Oh, wait, we're, our, ooh, our demand is going up. Our demand just went up. So it was either Yuma just sprouted some more businesses or where else? Who else is uh, Yuma or Phoenix? Oh, Phoenix is at 303. Phoenix is killing it right now. Let's double check that Phoenix's delivery is going well. If I remember, the train pulls in right here. This is probably it. Yep, machines to Phoenix. It drops off the machines right here. And you pick them up. Oh, this is also an older Peterbilt. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this line just because. There's never anything wrong with upgrading your vehicles. Who are you? You are also an old... Wait, what? Machines... Oh, that's right. I have two lines going into Phoenix. Let's upgrade you too. Because we have two drop-off spots. Because Phoenix is freaking huge. Okay. All right. So at the beginning of this episode... Where did our, where did our factory go? Here we go. This guy had supply issues with planks. Now they don't. We're slowly creeping back up to 400. This forest over here was doing absolutely nothing. Now they're not. Uh, and on that note, we are gonna call this a successful episode right now. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, come back for the next episode, and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. See ya. That is a clean train, it's, it's clean. <laughs>